पर्च ऑफ आर्टिकल गुड ट्यूजडे टू यू It's not a great Tuesday for me. It's one of them days. Woke up feeling it, so. Smoking. My latest pipe purchase, which was whenever I was picking my son up from school. From school, from work. And I forgot a pipe. So I stopped at the pipe, or the smoke shop, there in town. I love that ridge, though. And pick this up. It's not great, ma greatly made. It's Graybo. You know, the stem's crooked. It's just, it is what it is. Great smoker. Hmm. I did. Oh, not that one. This one. One of my older cobs, I had some uh, Lane RLP6 in it, with coffee, while I was catching up on a few videos. Quick question before I get into this. There's a cat that I used to follow twice. He's had two channels, two IG accounts. His name's Dan. He's from he's from Wales. He used to be called Pipe Smoker in Wales. His name's Dan. Um, he's a member of the Ash Hole Club, I think it is. If anybody knows how to find his content, or if he's off. YouTube and IG again, let me know please. Pipe Smoker in Wales, I think is what it was. Always loved that cat. Just wanted a simple smoke, nothing crazy. I forgot my pipe stand. And it's a humid SOB out here today. So still, there's no breeze, humid. It's not so hot, it's just the humidity, as they say. But anyway, reason for the video is I mentioned a while back that I do a video on my first pipes I ever bought and uh, I did a uh, 50 sub giveaway but it was just it wasn't so much for the 50 subs it was just so I didn't waste tobacco I just wanted to get. I just wanted to uh, get rid of the Cadith, dreams of Cadith, uh, to another pipe smoker to see if they could enjoy it. I'm still waiting to hear back from Cosmo on that. I saw he was smoking it on IG. So I'm still waiting to hear back. I left him a message. We'll see. I'd like to get his view on it. Maybe there was something I was missing. Yeah, still no haircut yet. Waiting on the boy. But dude, I didn't have any clothes. So he's doing laundry. Anyway. My 50 sub giveaway. Speaking of. I'm at like 93 last I, last I looked last night. Wow. Thank you guys. To all the subscribers. Uh... Really, I was taken aback when I saw that. Could not believe it had grown to almost 100 that quick. Because I know it's a grassroots thing and it builds slowly. But yeah, I've, my subs have really taken off and I'm very appreciative of y'all.
Oh yeah, I forgot my leather one, so I'm just using my pipe pipe nail that is perfect because I just slide it, throw it down in the slots in the table and it holds it perfectly. But I have nothing to hold my pipe except for my mouth. <laughs> but anyway, so on my 50 sub giveaway, which wasn't about the subs, the question was what got you into pipe smoking? And basically was my dad. Uh, he was a pipe smoker when I was a kid. And out of the blue, I don't know where it came from, I got a pipes and cigars catalog. And it piqued my interest. And I, dad looked at it and I looked at it. And rest his soul. Uh, and made me wonder. So I went to, uh, it's when we lived on the other side of the lake. But uh, I went to the lake liquor and tobacco or and smoke shop or something like that. And you know, these chintzy smoke shops where everybody goes to get their cigarettes and booze. They usually got gray bows and some cobs. And this kind of tobacco, you know, Captain Black, which Captain Black White was the first tobacco I ever bought. Another one I might have to revisit because uh, I force fed myself some burley, and which I couldn't stand those OTC. Burley blends, velvet burnt me. I couldn't. Like two bowls, and I was like, I cannot smoke this crap. So I'll have to revisit that and the Captain Blacks again. Because I haven't had them in so many years. But I bought two pipes that day, along with the Captain Black. And that up there. These are the pipes. First pipe I ever bought. One of them. I bought two at the time. Um, it's just a Missouri Mirasom Legend. You can see I've, I've smoked the tar out of it. It's got cracks and all kinds of stuff. You know, it's, a, it's the cheapest, one of the cheapest cobs I got unless you get the real minis, but uh, And then I bought. Oh, what is it? Couldn't tell. He got by too fast. The sound of freedom. Uh, Pony Express was my other one. Now, this has been altered. Uh, me and uh, Naked Cartwheel King Kevin uh, had a little competition between each other, kind of, to make a nose warmer out of one of our cobs. And so I made, it's like a lip warmer actually, right? and it cracked whenever I put this new stem in it. There, there, it still smokes, but not great. So, I don't smoke this one anymore. It just sits in my collection. Because it's the first pipe I ever bought. You know, I put that little burn mark on it and everything. Uh, did that coloring with a lighter. So, and those are my first two pipes. And I have modded both of them. Uh, this one, I modded and put a hardwood plug in the bottom. I can't remember what wood it was. It was a dowel that I had in the workshop at, over at the old place that I used. And I cut it out, drilled this out, the pithy part and everything. I uh, never did take the stem out. I was very careful. But if you could, you can't, but if you could see in there, it now butts up against where the stem enters the bowl. 
which makes it nice so you don't because you don't have to dig around all that you know around the stem or anything some of them come where it's up against it the bottom of the bowl some of them come up where there's that much gap but that hardwood plug kind of worked out good for me on this one because it, it bumped right up against it and there's no I don't really have to dig too much for it but yeah those were my first pipes and I smoked the tar out of them <laughs> I got my money's worth out of these two pipes and I still smoke this one yes I do I still bring this one out and smoke it but damn I'm sweating Sweating like a whore at a pimp convention. Wow. Anyway, guys, it's a short one today. Like I said, it's not the greatest day. You know, when you got shit like I do. And others. Some of them, everybody, most, most have it worse than I do. Imagine that. He'll be running his mouth and letting his pipe go out. But anyway, guys. That's all I got for the day. I think my son's clothes are about done, so I'm going to go let my barber take a weed whacker to this fro of mine. Good Lord. It's a sticky one. All right, guys, be good or be good at it and love peace and hair grease.